Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for January 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I am going to pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll pull one from Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I also have... And that's going to be for the main reading, which this is not. This is just the introduction, and the introduction is for all signs. At, I will put a timestamp when the main readings start. Now, um, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, my job just to deliver the message. Now, I will do an introductory reading, and I will use my rider, my weight rider tarot cards, and this is going to be just general what's going on in the universe. There is so many, so much energies. I've been waking up at, what, between that 2 to 4 hour, you know, the 2 to 4 a.m., sometimes a little earlier, sometimes, a, well, no, pretty much, yeah, sometimes a little bit earlier. The energies are very, very strong right now. And if you need to know more about it, go to my introductions from the past. Um, I would go to even, I would probably go to the one before this one, okay? Um, it's it just very strong. Lots of things are happening. Oops, cards falling down. When the cards fall out, you know, means to say, hey, let's look at these. Anything that is reversed also is a little bit more energy to it. Some people think that it's the opposite card, and you can read it that way. I read them as a little bit more, let's pay attention to this card, okay? So, lots of things are happening. Lots, you know, there's the, the south node, the south north, north nodes going on, Mercury retrograde. Um, we are now firmly um, into Aquarius for this reading. Uh, lots, just lots of stuff going on. Uranus is going direct. So lots of stuff going on. We are not quite in the middle of the, what, the, what is it, the two, and, two cycle? No, one and a half year cycle? No, so it started uh, there, uh, 20 to 21, okay, to March 2023. 20, We're in the middle of that um, Saturn in Aquarius energy also. So let's see what we have in our with our cards for today this is my uh weight rider i will then pull one from my what is this cards <laughs> my my psychic tarot and or oracle cards okay like i said the energies are really strong today and they have been they have been extremely challenging and um that's okay you know what i always say when it's challenging i must be doing something right i got the devil so uptight Yes, and they will try the darker energies, the energies that try to keep you from the light, which I believe we are all part of that light. The people that come to my channel are all part of that light. Eh, we do get some infiltrators, but that's okay. Our light will shine bright. Um, so anyway, we will find that any of the, and, and this came to my heart that I needed to let you know, where you are the most vulnerable will be where you are attacked to try to keep you from doing what it is you're supposed to be doing, okay? But we got this. We got this handled. Higher power has this for you. Let's see the first card, and look at that. Now, this is the Ten of Cups. It was the one that fell out. We do have a Ten, which is, you know, remember, numbers are very important. So Ten's transitional. You know, it's kind of things are moving. And this is things are moving in your home, in your life, in your love. Um, you know, so this does have a very happy life, happy love, happy family. This is cup energy. So that's another thing to watch. And cup is our, you know, is on, in alignment with our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, fluid, emotional energy going on. So this is happy home, happy life. This is blessings. And this is also count your blessings. So. Let's see what our next card has. I knew this one was coming up. So we have Hierophant. We have a five energy. Five has change energy, positive, negative. And I just knew that, you know, there's a lot. So we have to hold on to this. We have to claim our blessings. We have to think about how we do, you know, the things that we do have are blessing us, you know. And I'm praying, I hope, and, you know, I, I, I pray for you guys. 
I pray that you all have a roof over your head, um, that you have food in your belly, and that you know, and that you're, you know, that you are living the best life you can in your circumstances. Okay, but the hierophant, hierophant is always an interesting energy. I find it a little bit. Um, hmm, I'm always a little bit. I don't know. Do I want to say distrustful of the hierophant? Do I want to say a little rebellious from the hier the hierophant? The Hierophant has a lot of traditional energy. It has a lot of government energy. It has a lot of the business of religious energy to it. It's very, you know, it's very do as I say. It's very, you know, and it's the Hierophant to me has this, you know, um, the Hierophant really doesn't ask you to do any independent thinking. The Hierophant wants to have some control. Now, it's interesting that it's next to this, um, you know, to this, which is all about blessings. Uh, it's all about, um, you know, because I do not feel like the blessings are coming from the Hierophant. I feel like you have the blessings. I always feel a little bit, um, I, well, I am. I, I feel kind of breakaway energy with the Hierophant. So let's put it out there. Let's see what else we have here. The Page of Pentacles. Now, the court cards, they do have an underlying energy. Pages have earth energy. So that is our Taurus Capricorn. It is our Virgo. And we do have a lot of Capricorn and Taurus right now going on. You know, that is our job, our money, our career, how we make our money, sometimes even our homes. Now, so the page's underlying energy is pentacles, it is earth energy. But this is also the page of pentacles. This is earth, earth energy. This is a new job. This is new careers. This is a new ability to make money. But the page is also very excited about these changes or excited about these opportunities. So the pages, we'll go through this one time. The pages, earth energy, underlying. The knight's energy is fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate, burning, determined. The queen is water. Now that is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, very spiritual. And then our king has the underlying energy of swords. And that is our air energy. That is our Aquarius energy. It is also our Gemini and our Libra. Thought processes, thinking things through, also about making, you know, making good plans or making plans and making making some goals for that future. So what do we have here? Again, too, you know, this could be breaking away because sometimes the Hierophant is, like I said, the Hierophant brings a little bit of a break away from tradition, break away, not, not the Hierophant. The energies are kind of telling you to break away from tradition, break away from, you know, just doing it because, you know, the Hierophant is telling you. But again, we have blessings here. We have a new opportunity here. We have a new opportunity to make something really special. The page is very, very optimistic, and the page has a very, you know, a very strong um, hope and wish. And the page will do the work. The page will do the work. Anyway, we had the Hierophant in our last reading, I believe, and I think we had the Nine of Cups, which was the wish, and that the wish card, which is which is for the overview for the introduction. Let's see, my John Holland, there we go, John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards. We're just going to pull one here and see what this is all about. So we have, you know, I mean, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, I just feel like this tries to block, tries to block blessings, tries to block opportunities also. So we'll just put that out there, you know, no judgment, but I do feel again, you know, the Hierophant is also... Try to do some, the, the Hierophant energy, it basically stimulates, try to do something different, okay? Okay, let's see what we've got here with John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards. Now, we also, too, we, you know, now granted, next month is going to be where it's all about the twos, but we also have, you know, the one, two, one, we have the one, one, the one, two, two, the one, two, three, and then, of course, 2022. So there is that lot of that twos. Twos in itself is about um, decisions, crossroads. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? It's also about joining, okay? It's joining together. I told you about ones, ones, new beginnings, new starts. Threes, there's a lot of power in threes, okay? You know, you do something, say something three times. There's a lot of power. Again, 
you know, I am doing this reading on the, what is it, the 18th. And so that is basically, we're still in that full moon energy. So basically get out there and say, do what it is you want. You know, remember, release, relinquish, request. Okay. And I'm sorry if the audio is still not matching my lips. Um, I'm trying to figure out why that is, but I don't want to delay putting out the videos. Here we go. Last, this is the John Holland. Okay, so now we have a six. Six has our, is the number of man. So if you add the two, zero, two, two, that adds up to a six also. Number of man, the energies you put into something. This has a lot of material and spiritual prosperity. So something's going on where we should start seeing um, maybe some changes in our money situation, maybe. Again, I'm not quite sure with the Hierophant people that follow me. You know my feelings about the Hierophant. I kind of like say, Hierophant says, this way. And I go, hmm, let's go that way. Okay? So I will, but this is about material and spiritual prosperity. So there's some growth here. There is some growth. There is some, you know, a lot of things to have to do with faith. A lot of things that has to do with, you know, putting it out there, making a wish, just putting it out there and just believing, okay? Interesting, you know, I don't like that one, but it is necessary for this reading. Okay, anyway, I will post this as the introduction, then I will put this in the beginning of all the readings, but I will put a timestamp. Oh, take a moment to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications so I won't have to say that in the individual readings. Let's start them now. 